Good eye. I'll come to my little corner. Uh, let's go inside and today I'm gonna show you how to make something different. Come on in. Come on in. Come into my place. Okay. Today I'm about to show you for those uh, soccer fans out there, the soccer games are over. I'm going to show you how to make a soccer ball or a soccer ball vase. So to get the sweets with your missus or with, or with your girlfriend or with your mother for all those jobs you've been missing while watching the soccer games. Mm -hmm. uh, my soccer ball today I also call it a dome. I know there are fans out there who likes a dome, but let's go with two ideas together and let me start to show you how to make it. Today I'm going to put together bits and pieces. First, I did cut my shape on paper so I can determine how they go. I'm going to use uh, hexagons and pentagons, six sides and five sides. There's not a problem. There's my little pentagon. It's got five sides. And um, these are my little hexagons. Oh, it got six sides. All the sides are 45 millimeters. On the pentagon and hexagon as well. Now, to become a vase from a soccer ball, I got a hexagon in which I cut a square for a little pipe so you can place the flowers to your missus and get the sweets hey hey you've been a naughty boy watching all those games and forgot about your jobs around the house let's make it better today so this being said my little square pipe will have to be kept at one end so you can have water and place the flowers we're going to start with capping the pipes and then start tacking together all these bits and pieces to achieve this beautiful soccer vase or, like I said, a dome. Don't forget to cut it on paper, 45 by 45 mil, all the sizes, all the sizes and um, then you can determine how do they go. I'll start myself with the vase. I'll tack the cap the end of the pipe and uh, I'll keep going. That was very quick. No big deal, not a problem. Let's put the little hexagon which will have the pipe, will be the actual vase. A tip for you out there when you start welding and when you're gonna place the pipe, do not weld it, just tack it. Weld it once everything is done, otherwise, your little square here will bow and will get deformated. Alright, that's my tip. Yes, I know I'm not using my helmet. I'm gonna tell you the length of the pipe and let you determine the length. Alright? Even if you put the pipe at the end, after you put together all the hexagons and pentagons, you still can place the tape measure in, see how long your little square pipe should be. At least. You know? You can do something. Besides my stuff. Alright, let's start on that. A paper will help you out. If you make a project out of paper, it will help you out to count how many hexagons and how many pentagons. Much better. 
you can get from me how many you need but you will also need to put them together with sticky tape to determine how do they go like you will see me tacking and welding but you will have to do your homework alrighty so I'm starting with a hexagon and I'm gonna have hexagons careful how you tack them once you start with one it's easy to keep going so you're just gonna have to bend them and shape them around so I get a hexagon I get a pentagon there it is, it's taking shape very quick Take slowly and have a look how you need to bend them. Alright? Don't rush. It's a nice project, but don't rush. hexagon and three pentagons so next to my pentagon will be another hexagon let's get it oh, let's use the vice Alrighty. much better than the vice Hexagon, pentagon, hexagon. What do we need? Pentagon, of course. This is like kids at school, kindergarten. I suggest when you start tacking, tack on the tip here. Start with that one, so then you can tack the size. You can actually, you know, fold it and bring it where you need it. Very nice. This is what it shows like, so the actual job will show you how you need to work like. And it shouldn't take you too long to do it. It's beautiful. Once you tack in the middle and the tip, then you can tack the sides. So we started from here. Do not forget, I reckon uh, you should have a mark. <laughs> 